for joining me today. Just tell Hello. me a little bit about yourself and the company. So my name is Brie Michelle. I have two businesses. The first one is New Touch Beauty Spa, where we do post-surgery um, procedures, body contouring, V-steams, and facials. But we specialize more so in post-op care and procedures and body contouring. And then I also have a garment line, which is online and in-store, and it's called So Snatched. Brilliant. Okay. And where about is the company based? We're based out of Atlanta. I'm in Smyrna, Georgia, but it's like 10 minutes from the city of Atlanta. Okay. So you actually have a shop, yeah? Yes. Okay. That's brilliant. Okay. So I'll take it that customers can also order online as well. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah but we get a lot of online. Brilliant. Okay. All and what's everywhere? What kind of products? What's, what's your product range for the different types of surgery that people might need these garments for? Okay, so we sell stage one and two Fajas. Um, we also offer stage three, but okay. we specifically deal with stage one and two Fajas. We also sell non-surgical body shapers. And that's kind of okay. like for women who are about a year post-op and they just want to, you know, keep compressing, but keep keeping their body snatched and also for yeah. women who don't have surgery. Um, and then we also sell post-surgery supplies to go with the Fajas. So we have the okay. boards, the foams, um, the lateral protectors, the arnica cream, we have everything. Okay. Okay. So yeah. I'm, surgery. Yeah. Okay. So I've actually heard a few uh, people asking about the boards, like what are they? Um, like, when do you wear the, like the lipo board? And I think you've got a backboard as well. So I always tell my clients it's up to their discretion on when they want to wear their boards and their foams, because a lot of doctors tell them different things. Mm. Now, with me, I wore my foams and boards immediately after surgery. Um, but mm -hmm. I you know, I went out the country for my surgery. So depending on what state you're getting surgery, the, mm -hmm. the recommendations are going to be different. Um, but the boards are typically for more compression mm -hmm. and also to protect your skin from the tightness of the faja. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that, that makes that makes sense. And would you wear them together? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay, so um, what are your like most popular products that you might sell for what um, surgeries as well? Okay, so the popular products we sell will be the stage two Faja. Um, okay. The popular one is called um, the Mid-Thigh Stage 2 and Coco. It's on our website. It's typically the one that I wear the most on Instagram when I'm doing content and promo. The reason why mm. girls love it is because it's not high in the back. It stops underneath the bra. It stops mid-thigh. And mm -hmm. so if you want to wear it underneath clothes, if you're going out and you don't want it to be as noticeable, girls typically buy that particular Faja. Um, and that one is two, 230 online and in store. And then we also sell a mini handheld cavitation machine. And mm -hmm. it can be, it can put in your purse. That's how small it is. A lot of women buy that because it helps with, you know, massaging yourself in between massages or even just body contouring if you've never had surgery. Right. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So I could say if I wanted to buy a garment, I can order it online. How would I know from your products, which size I need to order? Because a lot of people just don't know what size they should be ordering. Okay. So if you order online from us, we make you send in your order with custom measurements. So you will need to buy $2 tape measure from the store, Amazon. <laughs> then there's two video tutorials on the website of me showing you what parts to measure and how to measure by inch. And then, okay. we, and there's also a chart. And then when you pick the Faja you want, we let you know what measurements we need. And we physically make the Faja from scratch, which your exact oh, measure. Okay. So it's kind of custom made then. Yeah. So to, to 100%, fit the person. 100%. Brilliant. And, and if we was to go into a store, how would that work? Is it just off the shelf in, in the store? So in the store, if you want to do custom from scratch, we can do that. But if you want something already pre-made, we do have semi-custom Fajas in store. And basically, I get them pre-made to popular measurements. Okay. So okay. I am a 49 in the butt, 26 in the waist. Right now, that's a popular, those are popular measurements. So I keep a lot of those sizes in my store. Right, okay. Okay. So I've also heard like a lot of um, ladies saying that they have surgery and they're not sent home with, uh, they don't even have compression. Yeah. Is it really important to have the compression? Absolutely. Like what's gained from it? Let me say this. I think that the Fajas are kind of 
new to the scene. And I think a lot of these doctors that they're going to are very old school. So they're not right. sending them home with proper FOS because they don't have much knowledge about it. Right. And this is why they just give them something and send them on their way. But it's, it's, it's much needed because it can prevent fibrosis. It can prevent seromas. It helps with pain relief. It helps with healing and inflammation. So it's definitely needed. And it's needed for all surgeries, tummy tuck, lipo, arm lipo, uh, thigh lip. You still need to wear a faja. Brilliant. And how long? Just at my shop. So Yeah. How, how long would you recommend? Obviously, someone's going to go what this uh, PS is telling them, but in your opinion, how long would um, a customer need to wear your garment for? Three to six months. Okay. Three I do to six, six months, months, sometimes more. And how many hours a day would they need to be wearing it? Whew. I typically wear mine all day when I'm at work and then I take it off at night because I like to sleep naked. But <laughs> first getting surgery, you need to wear it at all times. But really? I'm, I'm six months post-op. So it's like, mm, okay. I would wear it during the day from nine to six and then not wear it at night. Okay. So I take it you have um, garments if uh, people are getting BBLs done as well. What sort of garments would you suggest for that or products that you need? Because a lot of people say they're going to be uncomfortable. They're worried about how they're going to sit down. Do you know what I mean? It's like, how, what, would you, what would you suggest that they could purchase from you? So we have BBL pillows with back support. So if you're not able okay. to sit down, you have the, the BBL pillow to support you as well as a thing that goes around your back. What goes okay. around the, the back of the chair because your back is typically hurting. And then we mm. have different types of garments where the stitching and the butt is a little bit bigger, but most of our garments are mesh on the butt. So right. it can help without compressing their, their butt. Okay, okay. What's your uh, price range like for the for the products? Is it affordable? Does it meet with other competitors? <laughs> What's your pricing? <laughs> I think that my prices are affordable, but like I tell a lot yeah. of my clients, surgery is expensive. It's yeah, not surgery it's, that's expensive. It's that yeah, happens. I mean, we, when you paid that much for surgery, so. <laughs> we start at two hundred, and it's because the quality. I know yeah. I good, I got good quality because remind you, I do post-op care. So these mm -hmm. girls come in with their own faha all the time and I can see the difference and I can see mm -hmm. the difference of mine. And I'm not just saying this because it's my faha and I know that they'll get the results they want. The compression is immaculate and I'm, I'm making them semi-custom for you. So I'm not giving yeah. you a size fit all garment. I'm giving you a small waist with a big butt or a big waist <laughs> with a small butt. I make them for difficult those. Difficult to find. Yeah, I mean, that must difficult be difficult to find. To find and that. then I have them on hand. And in a lot of mm. cities, you can't find them on hand. Yeah. And yeah. I have abundance. So that's why I started off at 200. That's brilliant. I see as well on your website, uh, your product Your product says it's 100% Colombian. Uh, what is what is that? What does that mean? Why is is that better than the normal fudge that you ever get? <laughs> um... I don't want to say it's better because I feel like you can get a good faja from anywhere else, depending on the manufacturer and the material, mm. but it's literally made in Colombia. It's not, I don't have a third party I go through. I'm not getting okay. it off of Amazon. I physically seen my garment being made in person in a Colombian warehouse. I see. Piece yeah. by piece. Yeah. I so, have heard as well that they're meant to be tighter and better and Maybe it's the material. I'm not really sure. They give that um, silhouette shape that a lot of mm. girls want. So when you pick up my faja, you can see the silhouette shape. It's crazy. Mm. Even okay. without it being on. Without it being on. Okay. Because it's probably tighter material then. Yeah. Okay. Tough. So you have the fajas. Do you have any other garments? Like the a lot of people say binders. Do you have binders as well? Or is it just I have the, the wraparound binder board. Yes. I have okay. the old. Um, we have lateral protectors, which go on the sides to protect your mm. lats. Um, we have phones, we have backboards, ab boards, um, BBL pillow back support, arnica cream, mm. waist trainers, because you know, after a while, people wear the faja, they want to put the waist trainer on top of it. Yeah. So we have, and, we have and that's, and, and that's okay to put it on top. Yeah. Yes. I always tell people to wait till about three months. Okay. okay. Yeah. Wait till about three months. They'd be ready to do it at two months. <laughs> so tell me your garments is it just post-op or is it oh. people that have had no operation can anybody wear these or anybody can wear them um because it's a girdle so if you want to wear it underneath your 
clothes because you trying to hide mm. something for a party you can <laughs> but when they come in I typically try to get them to get a body shaper because the compression yeah. of the faja is a little bit more than the body shaper and if you haven't had surgery you may not be able to maintain handle it yeah so yeah so um one of the, the last questions I wanted to ask you as well is about the um the use I thought probably you do because you said like the different shapes so do you cater for like larger women oh. um yeah so I have all sizes. Look at my face. <laughs> I have I have small to medium to three to four XL. Yeah, because obviously it's got to fit every part of your body, isn't it? And you know, yeah. some people and won't end up open with it. in person. My store has been open for almost a year because I was online for two years, and then I've had my spa for five years. And we kind of look at what sizes come in the most, and then that's how mm. we figure out what we will keep in stock because I'm more so of a boutique. So mm. sometimes you'll come in and certain size won't be there. It is not always the same thing. Brilliant. You know what I'm okay. saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's actually really good. So um yeah, I last question I just wanted to know really what else you know you have the 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 garments there. Are you doing anything else there? I saw that you had a spa and things like that and massages. Is that all in the same location? Yep, it's big enough for both. So if you walk in, there's a storefront. We have somebody there, to, a sales associate to help you if you want to just come and shop. If you're not getting a service, okay. that's fine. And then we also have rooms where we do the treatments in as well. Okay. So and, like, and these are tr treatments for cosmetic surgery as well. What kind of treatments do you do? Um, we do uh, wood therapy, which is a cellulite treatment. And it's also good okay. for stubborn fat. We do cavitation and skin tightening. Which is, which is another body contouring treatment. We do endermal therapy, which is another ender, um, um, body contouring treatment. We do the sauna wraps. We do V-steam. We do post-op massages. Excuse me. We do facials. We do everything. Non-surgical butt enhancements. So if you don't want to get surgery, you can still come. And really? <laughs> Non-surgical butt enhancements. How does that work? I've it's never heard of like that. It's like therapy. Oh, really? With suction. Oh, wow. That's I've never even heard of that before. That's amazing. Yeah. So you've got a lot going on there. We well, have it's been absolutely brilliant talking to you today. I'm going to put all your details in the video below, your website address, your email address, your telephone number. Mm -hmm. And yeah, it's absolutely, absolutely brilliant being talking to you today. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, what else? No, I think I've, I've added everything. No, I'm just playing. Yeah. Um, and then also if like people want to order online and they're confused, mm -hmm. if they send us an email, we typically guide yeah. them to place orders and because it can get confusing. But we yeah, try to make it, I try to I do the measurements so that, that it can be perfect because with Fahas, you want it to fit perfect. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think before before you have the surgery, I don't think you could even imagine what size you would actually need at all. You can't, you know. I've seen people ordering more than one size and just like, you know, not even being sure if it's even still going to fit them or get, you know, coming out of surgery and it's too big or it's too small, you know. So that's really important if you you got the skills to be measuring up and doing all of that as well. Yeah. That's brilliant. Brie, it's been great speaking to you today. OK. Thanks a lot. <laughs>